Legion of Superheroes, number four, written by Paul Levitt's art by Francis Portella. We left off last issue with the Legion fighting back a bunch of Dominator ships who are responsible for the evil Daxamite. Resvir, who they also fought back because whatever. Um, this issue picks up with them having Resvir captured in Inertron, which is apparently this unbreakable metal. And then he just immediately breaks out of it. And, like, they see him breaking out of it, and they just don't really do anything. And then they talk to one of the newbies, who I literally forgot the name of, Chemical Kid, whose abilities are to catalyze chemical reactions. Okay. And they tell him, like, hey, this inertron, the strongest material in the world, may not be able to hold him, but I bet your powers can. All you got to do is just think about, like, stopping his ability to turn sunlight into power and then also like slow down his breath and stuff and just do a bunch of things really fast as he's charging at you with intent to kill so go ahead and get on that and he's like um 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 and he puts his hand up and starts doing his power thing and it's literally not working yet so um a couple other legionnaires pull him out of the way of certain doom and then as he's up in the air he manages to land the hit uh, Resvir falls to the ground, knocked out cold, and mon just there like, all right, that's a cool trick, but don't you ever try that on me. Ha, 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 ha. So then we cut over to the Dominator ship where Chameleon Lad, I think is his name, is incognito as one of the Dominators, and he's just creeping around just like, ah, yes, the Legion will follow us, and then our plan will be complete. And he's like, all right, well, I got to make sure that... uh we stay here in United Planet space and the Legion doesn't follow. And he passes by this group of like little grunts and he's like, cool, the grunts don't mind when I don't say anything to them so uh, I don't have to give up my identity. Maybe it would be better if I turned into a fly though so that nobody notices me. And the moment he turns into a fly, all the alarms go off and he's like, ah, okay, so they can notice a fly, that's, that's cool. So then we cut over to Daxum and a couple of the legionnaires are there and they're like okay but like nobody here thinks that daxum is a prison it's just that one guy like what could possibly be going on who's buying into this propaganda and there's like there's like look we'll just look into it it's whatever he the guy resvere he worked on a uh micronuclear program here so let's just go check out to see what this program is and the one guy i don't even think we ever got an introduction to him but he can turn invisible and he speaks in like french i think he he walks through the door and he's like oh they're working with kryptonite and so everyone just talks to them and is like Oh, we didn't realize that kryptonite was a restricted substance. We we just had a tiny meteor fragment of it. And it's like, uh-huh. And who got that meteor fragment? And he's like, oh, well, Resvir did. <gasps> was Resvir behind this whole thing? Yeah, clearly. So anyway, we go back to the Dominator ship. The alarm's still going off looking for the fly. Um, Chameleon Lad's like, all right, well, they didn't notice me when I was one of them. So I'll just transform back into that and everything will be cool. So he transforms back into that. He gets one of the... Um, grunt squads that were walking by and he's like hey you guys uh act as my guard so that whatever intruder is here doesn't get to me we have to go defend the engines wink and then we just kind of don't deal with that anymore uh we cut to brainiac 5 who is still analyzing glorith's shields and how it can like create energy from like nothing and he's like this doesn't make any sense this is going against every law of physics possible and i don't even know this girl's name nura sure she's got some sort of magic powers and brainiac's like yeah yeah magic is it's a thing but it still follows the laws of physics but her thing i can't explain unless she she pulls energy through time and that's how she gets her power I don't know what this is all coming to. And Nura's like upset that Brainiac didn't listen or maybe she's not upset because she's still smiling. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyway, back on the Dominator ship. They're like, all right, we're almost to our final resting point of this maneuver we need to pull. 
Uh, the Legion will soon be taken out. Oh, wait, but there's a small ship ahead of us. We can just ram through it, though. Oh, wait, it holds the entirety of the Legion. Oh, we got a problem. So the Legion comes up and just starts smashing through their entire, like, fleet. Um, mon opens up the flagship, and he's like, Hey, we're going to talk. So um, you guys get out of here and don't ever come back. And uh, anything to do with Daxum is totally off limits. Cool, cool, bye. So then as he's about to fly off, Chameleon kid's like, uh, Hey, I was here too. Can I come with? And they all get back on the ship and uh, Shadow, whatever her name is, probably Shadow Lass or something, is like, Hey, mon it's good to have you back. You haven't been at her, and you're acting like yourself too. It's been a long time since then. And mon like, You have no idea, Shady. Ha, 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 end of issue. Okay. All right. I guess. Sure. What? Like, what even was that opening, though? Of, like, oh, nobody can get out of a Nertron, but we're pretty sure he's going to do it. Oh, and he did. Luckily, we're just going to take him out in two pages with the newbie's powers that why didn't he just do this at any other time? Also, what was the entire point of, like, chameleon lad, kid, boy, whatever his name is, like, nearly getting caught, but then not and then he just gets to leave home free like all of this just feels like halfway through him writing the issue paul levitz was told by the way wrap up all your plots now and then he was just like forced to i don't i don't get it like if it was at the beginning to the end of the issue of like okay we're wrapping up everything fine but it felt like halfway through he's like oh, okay and this all needs to just like right now sort of stuff i'm gonna give this up five it's it's there's nothing that's like awful about it because at least if except for the brainiac thing and not even the other stuff i was gonna say and the scientist bit but no that's still part of the resvere plot it's just the brainiac thing that's out of place everything else is at least following one straight plot which was my biggest critique from all this other stuff from before so that's the only reason it's getting as high of a five as it or as high as a five uh but I can't give it any more than that just because, like, it feels so inconsequential. It feels completely like, okay, what did we accomplish here, guys? We, we, this, nothing changed. Nobody grew as people. Nothing changed. Five.